good afternoon guys um uh, today is saturday i've been covid free since thursday so today is me and batman's first outing in a while we are going to target on 14th street and uh, um later home depot and ross because i need some plants for my balcony and yeah it should be fine. I don't want to leave him there because at home because he be acting like, I don't know. I just don't like leaving him there all by himself all day. Like, who wants to be at home all day? Even if you went out, I don't want to be there all day. Dang, I'm supposed to bring my AirPods and I forgot. Hey, why don't you lay down? And fix your ear. I know you sir. <laughs> okay. Now you doing a lot. I just wanted him to fix his ear, but you should lay down. I mean, we're waiting. Why did I just get off on the wrong train stop? Like, I guess I've been out of practice because I've been sick. I forgot how to do this. But the next one comes in four minutes. I can't believe me. All I had to do was stay the freak still. Why did I get off? I got distracted because there was a ladybug. And the ladybug, I wanted to make sure it got outside. Because why are you on the train? Ugh, not minding my business. How did I get confuzzled like this? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, so I wore this thrift store dress. People love this dress. I don't know what the means to be on. I really like this dress. Is this a sundress? <laughs> Is this sundress season? Is all everybody like my dress and keep telling me they like my dress? Thank you. Okay, y'all. So I'm in Target and you know, y'all know they have undies like five for 20. So I pull out the drawer and the whole drawer was like on sale. I'm talking, so was 350. So almost 250, so almost 150. So I got like some of those and they came out to be cheaper than what I would have paid if it was five for 20. Come on, Target. Come on, Target. I don't even need this purple cup. But I feel like I should, it's for soup. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should have it. Um, I'm actually gonna get two plates. I have enough bowls. Mm. Actually, I'm not gonna get that because I only bought two bags and I don't wanna make this heavier than it has to be. What are those? We are now at Home Depot. I already ordered my balcony set, but I would've came and got some chairs like this. Not like that. I wanted some planters and flowers. But they don't have any balcony railing. They don't have any planters for the balcony, so I don't know. I have to order some. All I could do is a king. Camper. Hmm. I might start with a little pepper. I just had the most boring meal ever, but I just sauteed or pan seared up some broccolini and then I just used some of this chicken I've been thawing out for like a week. So I just pan seared, pan fried the chicken. Broccoli, that's literally it. I get home. I got um, this tank top and short pajama set. It's pink, no surprise there. Um, I told you about the undies. Now this one said 350. 
but it rung up for 250 so in all i think the underwear were like 994 for four pairs i mean they were five for 20 but i opened the drawer and it must have sale prices that was half off 250 150 so i'm very happy with my <clears throat> I mean, who doesn't love new underwear? I know I do. I love new underwear. And they seem pretty cottony. What, what, what's this? Okay, so it's 95% it's cotton. You know, a little spin. You need a little scratch. A little scratch. Prints are cute. Um, I ended up buying a charger as well. And it's, it said like $19.98. I get to the register while it was $10. I was like, oh! It's my day for Target. It was my day, y'all. Because, I don't know, I guess, either somewhere in the mix in Destin, my original white iPhone or my original white iPad charger is missing. I don't know. Where is it? I looked everywhere. I don't know. Where is it? I don't... It was too many chargers going around. But, um... So, I do have this... It was 10 bucks, 10.98 I think. And then I bought Batman some treats because actually I bought him some treats like a week ago from Chewy. I bought him salmon and beef. This mother trucker, this little dog is so picky. He didn't like either of those. He turned his nose up at him. But some treats that I bought from Walmart, he liked those. They're chicken flavor. These right here by Blue 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 buffalo he likes these but the ones i bought from chewy he hates like he won't even give them the time he won't he sniffed them and was like nope we're done he didn't even taste it sometime i will literally like put the treat in his mouth and he will spit it out i was like okay that's how i know if he really don't like it or if he playing but he loves these so i gave him a bunch at first he act like he didn't like it either and i was like hold up now these are the same ones at the house these just not stale because we didn't have them for a minute. And I broke it up into pieces. And with him having less teeth now, um, he, he ate it. He ate like five or six of them. So he still likes these. I don't know why. It's chicken. Why, why he did it like, I don't know. What's wrong with that dog? <clears throat> also in Target, I went to their Starbucks. Got me two brownies and a white mocha frap. Why I'm going to put no coffee in my um my, my white mocha frap? Like, I hate when they give me this light skin, pure white, white mocha. Like, no, ma'am. Where's the coffee? Like, if I say I want a white mocha frappe, why wouldn't you ask me if I wanted coffee in it or not? Like, I hate when they do that. Honestly, though, it was better for my stomach for it to not have the coffee in there. Cause, <laughs> but still, like, you give me this light skin, white white mocha frappe and uh, i wanted the the brown one i want the brown skin frappe but that's neither here nor there i'm just why wouldn't you ask me if i wanted coffee or not it was still good and she homegirl gonna charge me for a venti i said grande well i don't know if she charged me for it all i know is i said grande why i got a venti cup and it took me I just realized I paid $14. Like, that's why I'm going to Starbucks. Oh, sis got me bent. Amy's. Oh, this is a receipt I found on the ground. <laughs> I was going to scan this on Fish Rewards. It was right by the register, y'all. Don't look at me crazy. But, um, yeah. So, that's it, y'all. I'm about to relax. Probably watch more Manifest. Okay, so, I don't know if I even told y'all about Walking Dead, but I watched one and a half episodes. It was good, but it was stressing me out. I can't be stressed out. So, I started watching Manifest. Honestly, I've been watching all type of shows, y'all. I'm not finishing nothing. I'm just watching stuff, to be honest. Good afternoon, guys. Your girl just got off work. I went into the office today, but my patio furniture arrived. So, I gotta put it together. That's so ghetto. I gotta build a patio furniture. But yeah, that's, that's what happens when you buy stuff on Amazon. <laughs> that's what happens, you know? Okay. See how to put together these chairs. All right. 
A to D. Let's see. What's A? It's A to back. Okay, that's the A right there. What this is? I don't think I need that. I don't know what the other A is. But anyway, the back. What is it? The back. That's the back. Okay, guys, the chairs are finally put together. This one was so difficult, but I have learned that when they tell you do not tighten the screws, they mean it. Literally, screw it in three times and move on to the next screw because they start not lining up. But I just took it apart and put it back together. I wasn't because it was only one, one screw that wouldn't fit. Really, two, one and a half because the other one's in there, bar barely in there sideways. But it was in there. It seemed sturdy enough, but I went ahead and took it back up. Well, I took the screws out. The chair was still pretty much together, but I loosened up all the screws, took a bunch of them out so that one part, like right here, I believe, could go in. I feel like that's important. Like, even though I'm I'm pretty light and this chair can support my weight, but if I have company who's a little bit bigger, they might break my chair. So, um. Yeah, I fixed so all the bottom screws are perfect now, but phew, that was that was something. But now I just have to build the little table that goes with it. Okay, y'all, a little sneaky peeky of my balcony. We have grass. It's just fake grass. We have patio furniture. Now we just need flowers. Have y'all been seeing that commercial? I don't know if it's just the DC area or not, but like it's something about Amazon, like keep Amazon. Like, I don't know if they're trying to get rid of like two day shipping. I think I've seen that before um, back home where they were, I don't know. They're trying, they're trying to get rid of the two day shipping, but this was something different. Like, I don't know, but I said all that to say, it's amazing how you can order something. And it says it's going to be here tonight between five and 10. It is currently two o'clock. We gonna see if it get here. I'm gonna be so shocked if it gets here today. And it was like, if you order within the next two hours and 50 minutes. So basically I'm just, I just need more counter space in my kitchen. So I'm buying some shelving to put up in there, but don't like it, I'll take it back or whatever. But yeah, like we'll see. Need some pots to put plants in. I really want to start like a little mini garden. They have like some seasonal stuff at Home Depot. So I'll probably go there and like research and get like a cute plant to put on my table on the balcony. And yeah, I do want some railing plants as well. We shall see. Hey y'all, so I ordered an Amazon package, right? And them people told me it was undeliverable. So I'm like, dang so today i ordered the same thing like i ordered again tell me why the package from the other day that they said was undeliverable has gotten here because i'm like i ordered i ordered the stuff that i ordered today at like um i ordered it at 12 45 like that's when the email sent to me i get an email for a package downstairs at 1 41 so that's literally just less than an hour later so I'm like, I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna just wait to, it could have been like the, UP, the USPS COVID test that I'll be ordering um, so I can stay stocked up on them. Don't need them last month when I um had the vid. But um, so y'all gonna say it's undeliverable, but it's here now. It literally says my refund will be processed and everything. But I got it. I'm confused. Yep, this is it. And I know it's from the other day because it says 6-4. That's the date I ordered it. Um, The other day. And it was supposed to be here same day that day, but it was appeared to be some type of issue. So let me tell y'all what I got. My kitchen has no organization. Um, like I have no, that I don't have that much counter space. So I bought some things to help with that. So I got this um, corner shelf organizer. 
It's bamboo, fits any corner, easy to assemble, low maintenance, versatile. So you can put plates and stuff on it. I'm not using it for that. And then I bought this. And it's another um, organizer, counter organizer type thing. This one has hooks on the side. Boom, boom, boom. So, yeah, let me show y'all the kitchen, though, so y'all can see my issue. Okay, this is my counter space in the kitchen. Not much at all. This is, I just took this out because we're out of that. Um, it's really, it's not that bad. <laughs> Why you gotta start cleaning up and showing somebody something? I don't know, but anyway. So this is it. This gets really messy. Usually like the toaster, when I'm using it, it's like right there. And yeah, it's hard to prepare meals. Like everything would have to be completely in order for me to pair, prepare a meal. I'm using this backspace for spices and seasonings and medicine for my dog. Yeah, these are syringes for my dog's medicine. So don't, don't get crazy. He be taking um, antibiotics and this is a pain medicine. So that's all his stuff right there. This is probably not good, but I use my stove. Like yesterday I took my lunch to work. <laughs> so of course my empty lunch bag is still up here. Just throw that in there. Okay, there's my brownies. And for the microwave tray in this baking pan, I usually store it in the microwave until I need the microwave. So, yeah, I'm cooking this tonight, so it's out thawing. But this is my biggest problem, okay? My air fryer takes up a lot of space on the counter. There's nowhere else for it to go. My cabinets are pretty small, and they're all packed up with stuff. This space here, I'm using it to... Um, display and you know store my cookware so this corner usually is like my breads and like little veggies that i have so i have some sweet potatoes a bunch of onions that i may i did not order on my ad ew this one has to go to throw them out i'm sorry y'all it's real life right now what you looking like, honey? You all right? What about your friend? You all right? Your skin didn't fill off. I don't know. I mean, to cut that up and preserve it. I don't know. But I know my sweet potatoes are good because I bought those. And I just bought these baby potatoes. So... I'm trying to create some sort of space. I don't know, either moving this forward and then having the shelf behind it, something that's like tall enough to just fit and give me lift for the bread and things that I need to go in there. And then I wanted something else in this area, maybe to even put the toaster on the top shelf or whatever, and then have everything, you know, just out of the way so this area can stay clean. So I'm trying to maximize space in this little corner and this corner. Okay guys, my completed corner organizer. So two things. First, when I first bought this, I did plan to just put it up here. I don't like how it makes the light look up there. I knew it would hang off, but I knew enough of it would be on there. But I'm really not feeling that. So if I just put shit here, I do have access to one outlet that you can see. So I can plug my air fryer in just fine. So it wouldn't be an issue, but maybe I'll leave it back there. And then we have the air fryer more up front. I'm not opposed to this because I don't want to keep having to move my air fryer I don't use it very often, but I don't want it, you know, I want it to be easy access for everything that I do here. So I'm just laying my sweet potatoes up on top of this. I have some hamburger buns. Actually, I'm just gonna stack up all this bread stuff on that shelf. And then I did put 
the onions on the bottom. I'm just gonna push these potatoes down there too. So that's pretty useful for me. We'll just throw the bread back there. So I guess this would work, but we'll see what the other shelf is talking about and they may switch. I don't know, let's see. Okay, y'all, so my kitchen, it definitely is um, not a lot of space. Like I was saying, I literally just had this, right? But I cleaned up a little bit. I removed all the things from the stove. We have organization over there. Um, this area, I have my two pieces of bread there. I moved my brownies over here. The paper towels are there. My um, toaster, some measuring teaspoons and stuff. I cleared the sink. Um, I took the items out of the dishwasher, put them up and um, took the dirty dishes and put them in the dishwasher. This is probably the best it's gonna get because this is functional for me. It may look cluttered to a lot of you because I mean, I'm literally I'm literally displaying all of my seasonings, but I need to grab, okay? I need to grab and put it right back. You know what I'm saying? So I have my oils and all that kind of stuff there. Um, I also have this thing, which I bought um, a couple months ago to organize the sink area because things were getting crowded uh, across the sink, which, I mean, this cup is clean, but I use it every day. Y'all see this kettle? This kettle gets used every day um, for my dog's food and for me when I make me grits or tea or coffee, I'm using this every day. So anyway, um, I have, so I have, you know, my dish detergents, my scrubbers. So for me, this is organized. This is very organized. Um, it may not look like it, but it's, this is clean. <laughs> this is clean and I'm, I'm a little bit more happy with it. I'm a little more happy. Guys, okay, so this is my first little plant. I um switched over to clean energy. Well, we still all use the same energy, but the energy that I pay for is being replaced with clean energy. Like, whatever. I feel like I got swindled, but I'm all for, you know, saving the environment. So, I'm taking care of this little plant. It already had this little spot here and that broken leaf, but I think it's doing well. It's a golden pathos but like months ago my apartment building had a little event and they gave us like these wildflower whatever but they're starting to sprout they're starting to sprout the soil still feels a little damp so and i just watered this the other day it's not dry so but i see little sprout wings do y'all see it that little leaves oh my gosh and this one this one got some going on oh my god oh my gosh oh my gosh y'all i almost lost my life out here trying to be a gardener trying to transport all this potting soil which is freaking i'm sure this stuff is like 50 pounds because my cart fell over twice y'all i'm grateful that somebody stopped and helped me pick my life back up because it was bad but I bought some I bought some baskets lots of little planters luckily none of my clay pots broke or my saucers because I hit the ground I didn't hit the ground but my car hit the ground I got all these planters pots I don't know what's going into these but I bought three pot pots about jalapeno, cow horn, hot pepper, and, and peppermint. About to see how this works. This stay still, dog. I got these two. They should work out. It should be real cute. Okay, let's get started. I don't even know if my jalapeno gonna make it because some of the leaves then got smashed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I tried. I really tried. Grab a pot with the drainage hole. Fill about one third. I don't know how to do this. This is too much. What's this do? 
Infinity mixed with hard, compacted soil to loosen the soil for growing flower, vegetables, mixed with hard, compacted soil to loosen the soil. So I'm supposed to mix it. Flower beds and gardens. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this. I, sh I knew I should have just got the mulch, but no. It said it had compost in here. Oh. And I got fertilizer. <laughs> I know nothing about plants. What do I mean, potted plants? I'm gonna stop my jalapeno because I done damaged this leaf. Y'all, I live in a one bedroom apartment. I don't really need nothing else in here but i was downstairs to take some boxes down to the loading dock and i ended up finding what i believe is a dresser right have a look so i just spent the last few minutes um tightening up these knobs because they were very loose and wobbly and it had a little some color staining it was they threw this in the trash like the little that really large dumpster looking thing but it's in our loading dock and i fished it out i mean it's not i have to show y'all but it's not that big but the dresser is nice so it's glass top none of the glass is broken the paint is chipped on the top layer the sides look fine though besides maybe that right there but the other side also looks fine the front itself looks great again i just cleaned it down it had like some brown stuff in the crevices that i wiped out so I opened it up and I'm thinking, okay, it's just, you know, like a, you know. Oh, also, I looked here. It's from Pier 1. They're pretty expensive. If I can remember correctly, we used to have one back home. Let me turn the light on. So, I noticed there's also a shelf right here. But this type, you just unscrew. Like, these are metal little um, furniture things. So, you have to, I guess they didn't use this. So, they just put it at the bottom. So I'm thinking I have this suitcase that I didn't want. So I was going to just call um, Salvation Army for my suitcase. But I saw this thing and I was like, yo, I cannot leave that in the trash. I thought it was a jewelry box, like a really large jewelry box. But no, I think it's a nightstand. So it's a little dusty. Just this is an antibacterial wipe. <laughs> that I've been trying to clean up with. I'm trying to see what was wrong with. Okay. One. I put it on the wrong hole, y'all, my bad. But hold on, let me just finish cleaning out. I feel like, I ain't gonna even say what I was gonna say. <laughs> Is that a tooth? What the heck is going on here? Up, 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 up. Turkey. Okay. But yeah, y'all, I just tightened these up from the inside because I thought. The way the holes were looking, I thought it was broken, but it really just needed to be tightened up. So I don't know. I just, I couldn't leave it down there because there's nothing wrong with it. Why would we take that to the trash? So either I'm going to call Salvation Army for it or its new home is now my bathroom. I don't know. It sticks out a lot for the bathroom, but I was, I had this little chair sitting in here that I would throw stuff on. So, I mean... It's different throwing that on there. I can put that back in the living room. I just could not let it go to trash, y'all. I couldn't.